All right. <clears throat> Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahawa by Hashem Shai. Give double honors to your apostles of great millstone and rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and still say, let this is from the Trinidad camp. I just want to do a quick edification. You know? Right now we're seeing we 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 really we really are the last times this this is the last stretch right this year could be the last year the last year for for esau's you know kingdom you know, as a you know i got a dream last week you know that donald trump said that america have a hundred and now hundred and some odd days before you get destroyed right now we know america ain't gonna be destroyed in, in a hundred days because still our prophecies to be fulfilled. Mark of the beast, the eye for the trip. But hey, the time close. Alright? To have martial law to to be implemented. Alright? So we know we know America ain't gonna be this destroyed in 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 a hundred days, but the time close, right? So now, seeing that the time close, we had to prepare ourselves, just like the, the five wise virgins, and trim with lamps. All right? Prepare ourselves to meet the bridegroom. All right? There is not the, the time to be relaxing, the time to, you know, to be doing things which you ought not to be doing. There is a the, the time to really tighten up your belt. Alright, so I want to go straight into the scriptures. There is Luke 21, verse 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea, and the waves roaring. No, it says what? There could be signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars. And it's showing that they had blood moon, it had the eclipse, it had um, asteroids. Wherever the case is, all right, and it said the nation's in distress. Cause right now, the nation's in distress, all right, with the ban that Trump put on, you know, on the nations. Um, just yesterday there was a chemical attack in Syria, all right, Venezuela, in distress, Brazil, in distress, France, in distress. All right, and the waves roaring, the waves are the people they making a noise. All right, so we seeing, we seeing that at the time, the time at hand. All right, going on, it says men's heart failing them from fear, and looking after those things which are coming on the earth, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And the reason that the powers of the earth, that the heaven shaken, is because why these people in these high position, they they when they see the men of Israel back out here prophesying they know that their their end is close because revelation 12 12 says you know the devil come down upon us having great wrath because he knew he had a short time so they know the time close that is why i see the elites going down in the bunkers all right they're going down in the underground bunkers because they know that nuclear destruction is at hand and that yahweh shy coming soon all right everybody you see all across youtube people getting dreams about destruction and about the king coming Alright, so they know the time is short, so that is why they're shaking. Verse 27, and and then shall they see the Son of Man coming with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption joy it near. So now we redemption joy it near. So for us to be redeemed by Yahweh Bashem Yahshua when he comes. Alright, for us to be redeemed, we have to be blameless in that day we had to be worthy for the lord to lift us up we had to be numbered among part of the elect i mean we can't do nothing to be part of the elect but we had to give diligence we had to give all diligence to show yahabah shimia shai that we want to be part of his kingdom we want to be delivered all right and we can't be zealous in the day of yahweh shai only we had to be zealous from all now all right we had to be clean from all now. We can't just wait until the last moment to want to get the house in order. We had to do that right now. You know, pour off that lazy spirit. Alright? Pour off 
know, whatever hatred you have for one another, whatever works of darkness you're doing, you know, put out, put out all off, cast the all aside, all right, and walk in a, in, in a newness of spirit for redemption joy it near. Verse 29, and he spake to them a parable, behold the fig tree and all the fig, and all the trees, when they shoot forth, ye see and know um, for your, of yourselves that the summer is near at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of heaven is near at hand. So yeah, the kingdom of heaven near at hand. It now at hand. So right now is the time for men to be in full years, in full operation. Right? Standing stiffly for the name of Yahabah Hashem Yahushai and not wavering. Alright? There is something we had to, we had to push on to, to prepare ourselves for the for the wedding when the bridegroom come. Alright? There is no time to be laid back. That laid back spirit will get killed. We had to show the bridegroom that we are ready. We had to keep our garments clean. Right, because Yahweh shy, the day of Yahweh shy at hand. It's close, it's real close. It could be this year. Right, these will be been waiting for salvation. So let me act like, like we want to be saved. All right, let's act like we want to be saved. Right, this Romans chapter 13, verse 11, and know, and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Yes, yeah, so our salvation, hey, we saying that it could be this year. You no, know, we thinking it might be the end of this year, it could be earlier, it's nearer than we believe. So we might think, and some of us might think it's next year, but all we know that it's close, we know that the time close. Right, so as I said, I put off all our work of darkness, you know, and, and, and tighten up your belt, gain full gear, put your hand to the plow, all right, and show you how bash me how shed that you deserve to be saved because this truth, this truth ain't no plain matter, this truth is not a game, all right. The truth is be life. This 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 how we gonna be delivered. Alright? Showing faith, showing zeal. This how we gonna be taken out of this captivity. Alright? Just like we could be zealous for the things in the world, hey, we could be ten times more zealous for your house shy. And that is the spirit we are to be in, in these last days. Alright? Verse 12. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife or en and envy. Alright, so not, not doing things that which you ought not to do. Alright, but occupying yourself in prophecy. Alright, so let us walk honestly as in the day, walk in the light. Alright, that all your deeds may be manifest, that hey, you wouldn't have nothing to be reproved. Put, put aside pride, all you men who hate to be reproved, that hate brothers to, to talk to you, put aside that, because that wouldn't get you on the chariots. Alright, and that goes back to strife and envying. Alright, verse 14. But put you on your house, Mashiach, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So, yeah, you have to suffer that flesh, but nourish the spirit. Do some fasting, some praying, so that the Lord will always be with you and the Lord will guide the spirit that you would always know the things that you ought to do. Because the time at hand, all right, the time of your house at hand, that we're going to be delivered. So, prepare yourself, wash your garment clean. Alright? Because we can't do this when we see Yahweh Shai come because then we wasn't faithful all the time. Alright? There's the, there's the time when we feel gonna be tested. The time when nothing ain't happening and we be faithful. And then in the time of great trouble and beyond, we still faithful. That is what the Lord looking at. The scriptures say the Lord is not mocked. 
So you can't just come when you see Yahweh Shai floating across the sky in the chariots that you say, yeah, now I believe and, you know, let me try to make myself not, nah, it don't work like that. You have to be doing that from now. All right. So let me bring out one last precept. This is, um, this is Revelation 7 verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what? What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Alright? So, these are the elect. And they came out of great tribulation, because why? They were faithful. During the time, in the truth, when the evil days didn't come yet, they exercised faith. So therefore, they were strong enough to make it through the great tribulation, whereas Yahweh Shai helped them, you know, to make it through the, the great tribulation. All right, because He said He will keep you from that hour, and He said He will wash their their robes in the blood of the Lamb, because why they kept it clean through this ministry, through by the word of Yahweh Shai, by faith, and that is how we are to be to, so that we could be delivered in that day. The Lord don't want to come and meet us with spots. That way the scriptures say to appear blameless before him. Alright, so we had to cast off all that works of darkness, cast off all the things that we're doing, which is contrary to the truth. Because the time really is at hand. Just look at the prophecies. Right now, you know, this morning news I was watching on um, the economic collapse blog said that what? That Trump saying that um basically time up for, for for north korea now hey if trump attack north korea that could cause russia to attack america because north korea and russia have ties so we've seen all this happening we've seen that the countries roaring the waves roaring the countries in um involving in you know preparing for world war three martial law preparing i mean you see all these countries preparing for martial law all right the microchip Pushing, hey, we see that the time it, it, it at the doors, so just prepare yourself for the coming of the loan, all right? Because it's at hand. And with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazar saying, Shalom.